5 Skincare Trends Everyone Will Be Talking About in 2023 Uncovering beauty trends, particularly if they are skincare related, is one of the most joyful parts of my job. From trying out DIY skincare hacks to talking to top dermatologists, I can't get enough when it comes to learning about skin and it seems I'm not the only one. On TikTok, the hashtag skincare has an enormous 138.2 billion views and counting. With experts, influencers, and TikTokers sharing their routines, top tips, and favorite products, among all of that, you'll spot a handful of burgeoning skincare movements. Skin Cycling 2.0 Dr. Whitney Bow, board-certified dermatologist, research scientist, and founder of WB Beauty, graced the world with the term skin cycling. It involves alternating between exfoliating acids, retinol, and a simple moisturizer for skin that is smoother and clearer. In 2023, though, advanced skin cycling will take over. Advanced skin cycling is one way to personalize your skin cycling routine if your skin can tolerate push products, retinoids, and exfoliating acids more frequently than the two times I recommend in my classic skin cycling method, writes Dr. Bo. You might want to drop a recovery night where you use a bland, simple moisturizer and add in another retinol night, for example. It's all about dialing up the active ingredients if your skin is happy to do so. Gentle skin cycling is also going to reign supreme. This involves layering a soothing, nourishing moisturizer on top of your exfoliating serum or retinol, writes Dr. Bo, to rebalance your skin microbiome and repair your skin barrier based on your skin's needs and your skin's goals. Skin flooding. We were all kind of icked out when we first heard the term slugging, but man, did it take off in spades in 2022. Really, the concept of slugging or putting Vaseline over serums and creams to lock in hydration isn't new. It's Skincare 101, though that doesn't mean it doesn't work. DU Skin's Charlotte Palermino points out that we're going to see more brands talking about layering skincare and trapping hydration, also known as moisture sandwiching or skin flooding on TikTok. Respecting your skin isn't going anywhere, and thankfully, protecting your barrier and keeping it healthy isn't a trend says Charlotte, but how we go about it and the products we're going to use. That's where the update is. Charlotte says that tried and true ingredients like glycerin found in lots of serums and moisturizers will be big in new skincare formulas. It works brilliantly layered alongside hyaluronic acid, ceramides, and niacinamide if your skin is dry. Look for glycerin ingredient over something like petrolatum. Souped up skincare products. The ever-expansive hashtag Shelfie seems like a relic of the past. Next year, we'll see the rise of multi-ingredient products. Instead of using five individual products, we will look for one product that combines those five ingredients in one formulation, says Dr. Bo. Palermino agrees. Having a mausoleum dedicated to products you don't have enough time or available skin space for isn't as aspirational as it used to be. She points out that not only is it wasteful to have a huge array of products, but excessive layering can lead to irritation like redness, dryness, and soreness. Skincare doesn't have to be complicated or involve a million products in order to be effective. Esthetician Shani Darden adds, using efficacious products that are right for your skin type will reveal your best, most glowing skin. Some great products that pack a real punch when it comes to multiple active ingredients include Allies of Skin Molecular Savior Probiotics Treatment Mist and WB Beauty's Bow Glow Microbiome Nourishing Cream. Also try the Olay Regenerist Vitamin C Plus Peptide 20 for Face Moisturizer, which combines peptides essentially skin-strengthening proteins with brightening vitamin C, and do skin's deliverance, with both peptides and niacinamide. Devices that deliver. There's more beep-boop machines and robots to help you clean, sculpt and treat your face than ever before. In 2023, we'll actually dedicate the time to using them. The traditional clay face mask is still in play, but using a facial tool or a device once a week has turned the traditional mask night on its head. I feel that at-home devices such as vibration therapy and LED light therapy will continue to become even more popular for helping to achieve your best skin without the need for expensive, invasive treatments, says Darden. Her own facial sculpting wand is a vibration therapy device, which uses acoustic sound waves to boost circulation. 
she has been using the LED light therapy mask in her facials for years, and it is one of her favorite at-home treatments for plumping skin and tackling pigmentation. When you spend that money on a Dyson hair tool, you're using that thing, right? Same thing with your at-home facial device. Put in a calendar reminder. Our 29 recommended at-home facial treatment devices include Age Ars Derma EMS Shot, Facegem Face Shot, New Face Mini Device, and DR Dennis Gross Deox Spectralite Facewear Pro. For those who don't want to spend all their holiday money, Plum Beauty's Sculpting Beauty Bar is a great option. I liked it, so I refilled it. The likes of Fenty Skin entered the refillable skincare market while intelligent brands like Spoiled Child, 2250, and Uni tested the waters, too. Who can forget the scan rollout from this summer? Experts predict lots more brands will follow suit in 2023. Refillable products are not perfect and we've got a long way to go, but at least brands are trying, and we love to see that. Sarah Page U of Blueland explains, while refillable products aren't necessarily always better for the planet, it depends on the materials used, and if the products are then actually being refilled by buyers, it has been great to see the huge growth in interest from businesses and consumers in reuse over single use. Personally, I'm refilling my Blueland body wash alongside Page U because it makes me feel like a scientist creating a concoction. But I'm also refilling Trini London Reveal Yourself AHA Exfoliant, and the Kate McLeod Daily Stone Body Moisturizer, as well as my forever love, Pixie Glow Tonic.